All right, folks. I figured I'd do something different today. Um, instead of riding the bike, been in, in the garage today. Tomorrow's supposed to be nice. I'll probably go out on the bike tomorrow. Maybe get something. But it seems like Sundays have been the the riding day of the the last few weeks. Anyway, um, what this area is is that you can see it's an old spark plug connected to a wire, connected to some uh, alligator clip. Um, there's some other words for those. We'll leave those alone. <clears throat> Basically what I've done here is made a spark tester. What has happened is my bu I've made a few of these myself for myself. One for home, one for work. My buddy's got a 96 Bronco and uh, last weekend it just died on him and he came over and we were looking at things and I found the coil was just wasted on it it's you know it's still a distributor so it has one coil and if you know anything about Fords the old coils the centers of them would would or the outside of them would rust and they would create a corona looking thing on it and blah blah blah, blah. long story short we weren't sure if we fixed it or not and I said that he should have one of these on his truck so that he could test it next time to see if it's a spark issue or a fuel issue because it kind of stumbled before it died he doesn't have one so today he came over and we, he did a tune up on it just for because he had the stuff and he never did it so I told him let me keep one of the plugs and I'd make one of these for him for next time so what I've done here this is basically I can't do it now Basically, obviously, you connect the wire here onto your clips, and this is what you'd use to ground it onto somewhere on the, the engine compartment. This, obviously, spark plug. Take the, the take a plug wire off, connect it to here, and once you ground this, crank the engine. If you see spark, you have spark. It's not an ignition issue. It's something else. Fuel or air. Um, like I said, I made a few of these. They work great at work. I've, I don't know how many cars I've diagnosed with this. It makes life easier. You can buy one. I don't know what the costs are, but this has cost me zero because it's all stuff I have in the garage, plus the spark plug that he gave me that was a wasted used one. So, But the only problem you have is when you do this, I don't know. I don't have my phone working, so I can't tell you if I'm focusing or not. I'll give it a few seconds. But basically when you do this, <laughs> unless you use a torch, and I don't have a good one here, um, I'm just using my old Weller soldering iron, um, you get a cold solder here. So you're never going to get this really good unless you literally burn it with a torch to get the, the metal really hot. So I'm not worried about it. What I'm going to do is once I once it cools, I'm going to take it and just wrap this, that's why I made it this so long. I'm going to wrap it around, electrical tape it really tight, and it should last them a good long time. I've never had a problem with it. Um, so, I just thought I'd do a quick video on that. Uh, you know, the stuff you, gotta, you need, which would be a torch, really, but I just find it funny. I, I got this here. It's a Weller soldering kit. I've been lucky. The one I have at work that I use all all the time is uh, my grandfather's, and it's an old old Weller. Also, it's a bigger one than this. This is the one I have here. This is the, this is the Junior. Um, I'm gonna guess probably this one's 80s. The one I have, well, maybe it's older, with the bulbs. I don't know, but the one I have at work is. What, like I said, was my grandfather's easily 60s. And the old ones, if you can get an old one like this, or older, I recommend it. The new ones are garbage. They do not have the power. They, these, the, the tip never gets hot enough to, to solder the smallest wire, I find, at least. Um, if you can get an iron itself, that's even better. But I had my grandfather's old soldering iron, and that thing unfortunately self-destructed on itself one time that was the best thing I've ever had for soldering these are great as long as you, you know 
I find the old ones work better. So I always use the old ones and I, you know, this thing, no one borrows it, no one uses it but me. I do not let anyone touch that thing but myself. If you need soldering when you come over here, I'm doing it for you. Um, but yeah, this was the old kit, some new, newer stuff in it, but pretty much this is the old kit that they had. Um, my electrical kit here, which is just you know, thrown together. It's too small of a box. It's over outgrown this thing. Um, this is what solder, yeah, the rosin core solder. And then this, I, I like the name on this. I don't know if you could see it. Old reliable, reliable soldering paste. But this is how I prefer to solder. This is what I grew up, my father taught me to use, my grandfather. And I prefer to use the paste. This stuff's good. It has the solder, the the, the rosin inside of it and all that. Yay, whoop de do. This stuff, it cleans and does a lot better of a job personally. Um, that's my opinion, I guess I should say, not personally. So, alright. Quick, long enough video. I'm going to end it here. Um, I don't know, something different. Rather than uh, the same old same. And uh, I will talk to you all later. Bye.